keep looking at this. The y force, we said the sum of the forces in the y equals the tension, and now we're going to call it dy dx at the point theta plus delta theta minus the tension dy dx, essentially the slope, at the point theta. And if all that uh, sine equals sine over cosine equals tangent equals rise over equals slope equals dy dx, if you didn't like all that, just look at it now. Right? This is the tension and the y component is all we care about. So it's going to be that y component is going to be just that total tension times the slope or proportional to that. Right? So there it is. Um, we can rewrite it a little bit. I'm going to do a couple things here. We're going to pull the t out. Um, pull out the t. And instead of writing theta plus delta theta, we can also just write it at x plus and x plus delta x. Right? That's just telling you where. It's not actually being multiplied by theta. There's no unit involved. So we can write it as dy dx at x plus delta x minus dy dx at x. OK. And the next step shows you that you can't do physics just by knowing the math. Right? Sometimes there are steps that you just have to know to do. There is wisdom involved here. It's not my wisdom. It's wisdom I learned, which I guess that's what wisdom is. So the wisdom here is to multiply by 1. And of all the many 1's you can multiply, multiply by delta x over delta x. Okay? So if we do that, then we have this equals the tension. And this delta x I'm going to keep here. The 1 in the numerator is just going to go here. And the one in the denominator is going to go in the bottom of the thing in parentheses. And maybe you can see where we're headed here. And if you can't, don't worry, because I'm going to tell you over delta x. That looks like a derivative. Right? Any function at x plus delta x minus the function at x, that's the rise, that's the change um, in the y direction, over Delta x, that's the run, rise over run, is the slope. So this is a derivative again, but it's a derivative of a derivative. Well, a derivative of a derivative is a second derivative. So what we found is that the total force on the y equals the tension times the delta x times the second partial derivative with respect to x, of y with respect to x. So some of this makes sense. The force on the y should be bigger if the tension's bigger, right? If you pull harder, then yeah, it's going to feel more force up. And if you make x bigger, the force ends up bigger because it's curved, right? So the change in the force on each side, that's going to get bigger with delta x. But it's also telling us that it depends on the curvature, right? So if you have a flat string, that is just a slope of 0. If you have a line going, it's a slope of 1. But if you have a second derivative, that means it's curved. And it's telling us that that's what gives it a force, is the, curve, the string has to be curved to feel a y force. And I can show you that with the string, right? So here's the string. And right now, no little piece delta x is feeling a y force because it's sitting still. Okay? Now, I'm going to give it a first derivative, dy dx. I'm going to slide one end up. All right? And now it has a little bit of an angle to it. Now there's a dy dx in every piece of the string, and none of it feels a y force right? because it needs d2y dx2. It needs a second derivative, it needs curvature. So now let me pull it back down straight more or less straight. And now I'm going to give it curvature. Okay? I'm going to stick my finger on it. And it's now straight everywhere except right where it's going over my finger. Right? It's curving over my finger. And guess what? There's a force. I can feel a force. I have to push to make it do that. So this little curved piece is now the only piece with curvature. And it's the only piece feeling a force. And if I take my finger away, you can tell it's feeling a force because it's going to accelerate down, right? just like that. If I push down, now I have curvature here, it pushes up. So the place where the little piece of string feels a force is related to its second spatial derivative with x. It's related to its curvature. We saw it, we derived it, and you can even see it in the string, and you can feel it in the string with your own hands.